Tynnu and Chip are just waking up to leave Talus Quagu. She wanted to visit a whole lake belonging to Gordon, a quiet place to rest beside the lake. First, ooh, she had to take the coop to a bunker in market. Chilly had just left the quarry to leave and head back to Kingston when she saw the disgusting sight. Farfwell was taking a truck of logs before he would take the diner tree. Hey, who Farfworth, doing a log train? asked Tilly. We George you would ask me to take the logs to Queen's Tall as he needs to have his check up. I never took logs before and I all saw dust stuck on me. What would people think? said Farswell, striving. It'll wash off or get poof away, but you see it. I could mind ghost trees, said Tilly, puffing off. The <laughs> who? Upon arriving in market and delivering a coup, Tilly went to look for Garden Hill Lake. Nice to be in the woods. The others haven't been up uh, before, said she. As it was a tip off, the little poor engine thought she'd better get a book for Chip to read. Chip liked it with birds in it. As Tilly went to look for the whole lake, the others keep back to the shed, finished with their jobs, even faster. They didn't see the blue engine high climb. The upper rook went through a woodland clearing where Rory once tackled a pig when he was making a course. Nearby was a rook also leading the same way. Tilly stopped to admire it for a minute. It looks like a good spot for anyone to play, she thought. George wouldn't mind coming up this route. At last, she creeped to the whole lake. This place was quieter enough than the woodland clearing. A shed was ideal for her 
จะทอกขึ้นสมอ And not too loud. She looked through the gaps of the trees to snug. It was a pretty good sight to spot anything on its drives. The other bantams would like to see it if they're not busy. The mark trip will enjoy. The two friends did. Of the parking in the shed. Chabadah, Ukrus. There was who thought themselves before they settled to sleep. Uh, um, has anyone seen Tilly? There's not five of us in the shed. Yes. None of us who where she went," said Georgia. "We were we from Kingston." I'll bet she's been in the top woodland. It's not visited from us," said Pete. "I might look for her," said Farnsworth. "Last night in Tuller, I heard her say she was to visit." Gold to leak, so she's up there. So he went looking up the top woodland. Oh, that's why, typical. Tilly was liking to find something to do in the wood. A cave was nearby. She'd never been inside one, except whistling turns mine. I'll I'll make that a final thing to look at. She chuffed. I like to explore normal caves," said Chip. "It's getting very chill. We'll keep the sun beating if we want to not be late." Chill. Left the whole lake and went looking for the cave. She kept told the sight of it. A cool breeze kept escaping from the mouth somewhere far inside. This is better than a mountain any day. Said Tilly. She went inside, looking for what made the breeze. It was a river that met it when she saw where it came from. This looks lovely for me to. Get a wash in," said Chip. "One dip will be quick." Chip did a dunk, then they decided to head back to the shed. That was cool.
On the way, they ran into Fartsburg. I was expecting you to be in the whole league, but you were, said he. What were you doing visiting it? I wanted to see the lake since we arrived in the continent. I didn't tell you. Back in Tala, I didn't shunt your trees, said Tilly. I heard you say why you wanted to come here. and would get a hint that you would forget my tree. Oh, sorry, the yard was empty. At least I sunted mine. There might come a time you might shunt your rule. Telling us would be better on leaving a hoop behind the way anyone does when leaving where he or she lives. We left the woodland clearing. But despite her mistake of not telling the four big engines, she had a camera that just printed a picture of where she rested in. The others would see her looking at it. We could be in any of the pictures to remember coming to Tasmania. Some have you in them, even my rescue on Fartwell, said Tilly. This new one might be a way of telling you where I've gone. I can see it being a picture, said Fartwell. You got me from when we went to that bottom middle village, said Pete. I too have others, said Tilly. I've got this picture album. She presented them a prize she collected from when she pulled Charles's tree. The book we looked at was when Tilly did the rescue on the white diesel. That's never forgotten, said Jebediah. Two rescues, him and Pete plus Charles's job, that makes three. <laughs> Tilly chuckled. <laughs> 